Azrock sponsored part of our trip here to Computex 2023, and they had some really neat things that I was not expecting to see at their booth, and I absolutely want to have in my gaming setup. But first, we're gonna talk about them having their new refreshed Intel motherboards. This is gonna be for making sure that their motherboards are more robust for any sort of CPUs that might be on this LGA 1700 socket. Starting off with their flagship Phantom Gaming Z790 Nova Wi-Fi 7. This is their premium motherboard which can fit up to six M.2 SSDs, one PCI Express 5.0 and five PCI Express 4.0. It has a 20 plus one plus one power phase design to make sure that it's capable of handling even the fastest chips. And then ASRock also had the Riptide Z790 with Wi-Fi 7 with a 16 plus one plus one powered phase design, which can support up to five M.2 SSDs. And then their entry level Z790, which has the same 16 plus one plus one, but without all of the fancy additional add-on features that you might see on the higher end motherboards. Still good enough to support an i9 CPU, but not necessarily the most equipped of the bunch. But then in the motherboard section, they also have the Tai Chi Lite. This is for everybody who loves the features of the Tai Chi motherboards, but want a more subdued, sleeker, and less gamery appearance. It has all of the feature sets that you've come to know and love from ASRock's Tai Chi line, but made for more professionals or anybody who doesn't want the pure gamer aesthetic. And they'll have one for both AMD as well as Intel. And then they also showed off their EDP connector that's on their live mixer motherboards, which is part of an internal display that they showed off, which is a single cable from the motherboard so that you can have additional screen that's in your PC. And that's the intro to ASRock's monitors because we've got some crazy stuff to talk about here, including my favorite thing that I saw in all of Computex. So first off, they had the PG32 UMF. This is a 4K 144 hertz HDR 1400 mini LED monitor with one millisecond response time and even a G-Sync module. This is gonna be perfect for anybody who has an RTX 4090 and wants one of the fastest gaming displays that is on the market. But they also added a 2K display with the PG27QF2A, 165 hertz, one millisecond response time, free sync premium, but also a brand new aesthetic design which includes integrated Wi-Fi antenna that you connect to your motherboard port so that you can use your monitor as your actual Wi-Fi antenna to give you the best signal possible. It's a really intriguing design and makes a lot of sense. You already have a cable going from the back of your computer to your monitor. Having your Wi-Fi antenna route back there as well to give you even better signal is a really intriguing design and I was very impressed to see it at ASRock's booth. But in case you want something a little bit more budget friendly, they also have the A27FE and A24FE, which are meant to be just more casual monitors. 1080p, 100 hertz, free sync, IPS, everything that you could potentially want in a more wallet friendly orientation, but it's also not expected to break the bank with them telling me that they should cost right around the $100 region, which for the spec sheet would be a phenomenal price. But I wanna talk about my favorite thing that I saw at Computex 2023, and that was ASRock's PG558K5. Yes, my friends, this is an eight K gaming monitor coming in at 55 inch. It has a 750 nits brightness, one millisecond response time. It supports up to 60 Hertz, but I was blown away by seeing a 55 inch 8K gaming monitor. This is the first gaming monitor that I've seen in 8K in a real person. And it was incredible to see on the show floor. ASRock has some really cool monitors upcoming. And I can't wait to potentially hook one of these up in my gaming system. But they also had graphics cards to show off. They have the new Tai Chi version of their 70 900 XTX GPU coming in white, which I thought looked incredible. But then they also have the Steel Legend versions for both the RX 7600, which launched last week, as well as the 6650 XT, just giving a new coat of paint to some very reputable GPUs. The 6650 XT now coming in white. I love to see that ASRock has these options out on the market, but they also have something that isn't quite as big as a 7900 XTX, and that is their small form factor PCs. They had both their desk meat and desk slim mini PCs to show off, which are gonna be coming out with an AM5 version that can support up to 65 watts of power. And it's based off of the X300 ITX motherboard, which is a slightly different form factor than traditional ITX, which allows you to fit up to four RAM slots. These desk meats and desk slims also come in B760 in case you want an Intel variety. And they also have the desk mini, which is gonna be compatible with an upcoming AMD APU 
It's not quite ready for launch. AMD hasn't even officially announced any APU, but they did say it's gonna be updated when that does happen. Additionally, they showed off their Jupiter one liter case, absolutely tiny, made for anybody who needs just the smallest of small form factor compatible with B660 Intel setups. ASRock had a ton on display at Computex this year. I was blown away by a lot of the monitor stuff that they're gonna be launching sometime soon. The graphics cards are a nice, beautiful update. The Intel motherboards are also a great update, having a light version of the Tai Chi to make it for sleek setups, and then even the slim form factors in their desk meet and desk slim lineups with the desk mini as well, being very cool things to check out. Big thanks to ASRock for sponsoring our trip here to Computex 2023. Be sure to keep your eyes open for all the things that ASRock's launching, and we'll be back with a little bit more Computex 2023 coverage soon.